your relationship with General Manager Kenny Williams has had its ups and downs. I think I, I read one article where it was reported you guys once nearly came to that's blows. It was. That's, a fight. that's a passion for for the game. That's a passion for 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 to have success in life. And I think since we we got that back and forth, we learn as a person. We learn. We grow up as a person. We grow up as a business people. We have a personal problems in the past, but we know involve those problems on the field. Obviously, when people think there was. My team was playing better when we had that problem. They weren't, but I don't think, the only thing I was worried about, what, how the team gonna react about that, they react pretty well. They, 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 everybody out was shocked. I mean, oh, they, 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 they're gonna kill each other. They, it not was to that point, like we gonna kill each other. We could, we would. It get to the point either one we we would because we very tempered guy people. We very passionate. We this remember Kenny's from Oakland and from Caracas. Yeah, you know I mean that's that's two people you have to survive. You he grew up surviving. So do I. And that's 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 too much. You know like that. But I think everything was very professional. We 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 not like each other for a little while. Yes. When was it at its worst, and how were you able to recover from it? I will recover from that. I don't think I don't think I can come to work. I hate come to work the way I did. I hate come to work for like three months. Really? Yes. Why? Because I hate everything around me. I hate everything. The only thing I love, be honest with you, the thing I love it was my players and my family and the PR department. That was good. But everybody, I hated. I hate, I hate people walk around, I hate people who I sucks because I don't think we was on the same page. Uh, and what did it take to get back on the same page? Talk, communication, be open, and respect your opinion, respect my opinion. And uh, so far, being pretty good, you know what I mean? And it get to the point like they got to train me, they are leaving, and, and, and everything, the, the, the comments out there, I was thinking about the ball club. I was thinking about the team, I don't think about anybody else, I think about 25 guys. I had to respond for them. And I don't want to respond to the media about my problem with Kenny. And that was, the, 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 that, was a, that was my fear about everything else. I told Jerry, I'm very honest, hey, you don't want me here, I leave. You think I'm not the man for this organization, I leave. I want the best for the White Sox. I don't want the best for us again. I'm not, I never will. I never will, because White Sox made me rich. White Sox made me famous. But White Sox gave me a lot of great thing. Great thing, even great family, because White Sox. My kids was here when he was one year old. He's 27. You know, all my kids, my family grew up in this city, grew up, and I'd rather, I'd rather leave. I'd rather leave than White Sox to keep me because who I am and what I did. If, if, if I'm not the man, they got conference, and they, they think I can do that, I leave. I know, uh, money, yes, very welcome. I got three kids, I gotta take care of that. I expect to have grandchilds, so I gotta take care of that. But I can't find a job somewhere else, I know. But I don't think it's gonna be the same. It had to be the same, you know, kind of close because this is a new job, but I'd rather, I'd rather this organization go in the right way and go in the wrong way with me.